Sheila again from Tiếng Việt ơi. In our last video, I have taught you how to use all the Vietnamese pronouns. Wait a minute, I should rephrase that. I have taught you how to use all the basic pronouns in Vietnamese. We have so many more, but you don't need to worry about those. In this video, I want to show you how to use third person in Vietnamese, and trust me, it's gonna be easy. So, do you remember how to address people and address yourself when you're talking to someone? If not, stop watching this because you can't learn how to use third person without knowing the pronouns first. You can watch our pronouns video in the link right here. If you have mastered all the pronouns though, this is going to be a piece of cake. All you have to learn from this lesson is one word and one word only. Ấy? Ấy? So, what does a mean? In Vietnamese, a have a few different meanings, but in this particular situation, a means that. When you put a after a pronoun, you're referring to the person of that pronoun as a third person. For example, this is Kira Knightley. She's 31 years old. I'm 25 years old. So, if I'm talking to her, I'm gonna be her aim, and she's gonna be my T, right? But, well, the chance of me talking to her is not very likely to happen, right? It's more likely that I will be talking about her. What to do? I just need to add a after her pronoun, which is T. Then I will have T A, that T as she. Same rule, if I'm talking to Clint Eastwood, I will call him Ong. But if I'm talking about her, I will say Ông ấy. Robert De Niro, I will call him back. So if I want to refer to him as a he, I'm gonna say back ấy. Justin Bieber, he's my aim. So to refer to him as a third person, I will say em ấy. Let's start easy. Can you look at the photos of these celebrities and try to address them as a third person based on their age and your own age? Okay, now, can you try to address the following people, but based on their look instead of their age? So that's it. One word to learn from the whole lesson. Only one note for you though. A is the official word that we use to refer to a third person. However, it is used more in writing. In daily speaking, people tend to say Ý instead of A. Like Anh Ý, Chị Ý, Bà Ý. Just for the sake of easier pronunciation, you know? It's kind of similar to the way people sometimes use yeah instead of you in English. So, do you believe me now? It was easy, wasn't it? If it was too easy for you though, don't forget to subscribe our channel for more difficult Vietnamese learning videos. And trust me, things can get a lot more complicated. So, that be it for now and I'll see you in our next video.